just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne. And Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. It's 8.45. I don't want to get up. Technically, I don't have to, but I'm getting my hair done today, so I'll tell you guys about that later. But I need to wash my hair and get it conditioned and have it dried and everything before she comes over. I'm having someone come over. Uh, I'm so tired. I can stay here and sleep. Like I said, technically I can, but I need to get up. So, yeah, let me go shower, wash my hair, and maybe sleep a little bit longer. So, I'm done washing my hair. Maybe I'll start showing you guys my outfit every day. But then I don't because I wear scrubs every day for work. So, who wants to see that every day? I don't even want to wear scrubs every day. You know when you get to the end of the deodorant and I bought a new one, but when you get to the end of the old one, it crumbles. And I think it just did. Yep, fell all on the floor. Alright, so that's garbage. I'm gonna clean my ears out and brush my teeth. Do you guys brush your teeth in the shower? I don't, because I just don't. I think the two should be separate, and that's just me personally. And did you guys hear that by the year 2025, the United States is supposed to? dispose of all like disposable things like q-tip and cotton swab that's what i read in one article i didn't read it fully so i don't know how true that is a country in europe or somewhere like that that banned these so i don't know they're trying to ban everything I and mean, i get it's for the environment but then they're going to make some eco-friendly ones or whatever and then charges an arm and a leg so have you guys heard that just random chit chat while I get ready. But yeah, I do not brush my teeth in a shower. And I don't know why this thought just popped into my head, but so when I was younger growing up, we always used a towel or a washcloth to bathe yourself, right? I knew no other way. And then when I got older, when I went to friend's house to spend the night, um, they would give me the towel to dry myself off with but not a washcloth. And I'm like, what do you wash yourself with? And they're like, the soap. And I used to think that was just the grossest thing in the world. But now that I'm older, it just depends. I have my own bathroom, have my own soap. Sometimes I grab the bar soap and sometimes I grab the wash towel. So what do you guys do? So I'm one of the weird ones who, okay, so I don't brush my teeth in the shower. I don't think that's weird, but I don't wash my face in the shower because I'm one of the weird ones who, when I use a washcloth, I don't like washing my face with the same towel that touched my body, that cleaned my body. So yeah, all I can think of, this touched my armpits or this touched my butt and I'm putting it to my face. So I don't know, I just, I never clean my face with the same towel. Um, usually I wait till I get out or I do it before I go in. So do you guys have what you feel are weird routines that are abnormal than other people? Let me know. I know you guys haven't seen me with my hair done, braided in a while, probably since a little bit after Savannah's graduation. And that's because y'all know I always have something to complain about anyway when I get my hair done. 
so I'm probably gonna complain this time but the braider that I was using her skills have gone down so much she's like totally fired side note you guys know how I have like a million conjillion Bath and Body Works products so I so was wondering what scent I'm wearing today I have it's at the beach and I have the shower gel that I used this morning and this is it I'm going to spray it on and also I have the lotion and it smells really good all right so what was I saying so I didn't want to go back to her because her style or the way she does hair has gone down it's just it's not even good anymore and Savannah doesn't even like how she does hair anymore so I didn't really search that hard but I was waiting to find someone who did my hair pretty much someone came up to me and so the way I know her is she's actually an instructor at my job she got hired after me and she's a dental assistant as well she teaches um, in the morning also so she is a cosmetologist as well she's going to school at night but she's been braiding hair for years she said but she wants to get her actual license so even though she's a student i'm taking a chance on her um i'm kind of scared because it's somebody new and she didn't have any pictures of the work that she does so i'm kind of terrified actually so i don't know we'll see but she doesn't have a shop yet or anything like that. I'm like, I can come to your house or whatever. She's like, no, I'll come to you. So she's coming here to do my hair today. So it's already washed and conditioned. So let me take it out, dry it, and get it all prepared for her to braid it. And I'm not going to let you see me like that because trust me, it's it's a fro. Oh, and another reason why I stopped using the lady who um, braided my hair is because my hair broke out a lot towards the end and I know it was the way she was doing it. Um, not that she braided too tight, but the very last time she did my crochet braids, how do I explain this? So the hair that was used is not normally used for crochet braids, it's usually used for regular braids. And the hair was really, really fine. So she's like, oh, it's okay, we can, um, when she did it, she said we can just put weave glue at the tips so the actual braid won't come out. Um, and if you guys don't understand, I know whatever some of you guys will. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, she's like, it won't touch your actual hair. It'll just be on the braid. Well, it touched my actual hair. And even though people use weave glue all the time, well, a long time ago they used to use weave glue. Weave glue can break some people's hair out. And it broke my hair out. So my big old huge afro is like shrunk now because my hair is broken off. And so I'm like, she's never touching my hair again. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let me condition this. I'm not letting you guys see that because it's froed out. Power to the people. Okay, Boston. Ready to go out? Go potty. I'm going to try to find something to make it seem like he's going to get food and watch. He's going to come running. Okay. Uh, what can I grab? I just need to make noise with something. <laughs> I told you guys, this dog is so greedy. He's definitely one of my kids. All right, you gotta go out, come on. So I'm already preparing, even though she's not coming till later. So I'm going back to what I, usually use just getting my stuff ready and the comb and she's gonna use the rest of her own products like the crochet hook all right so I'm like this until she comes to do my hair I'm about to make breakfast um, did they get light pancake syrup they did oh well it'll be okay anyway so Boston falls for that every single time you guys he does not like to get up in the morning um, even when he's on Cheyenne no even when he's on Savannah's bed and she's trying to take him out so he can go potty he just lays there he stretches looks at you and like I don't want to move but every time we grab something like he's going to eat he falls for it every single time and he doesn't get anything till he comes back in so I'm gonna make breakfast for everyone pancakes eggs um, I don't know if we have bacon, but I know we have sausages, so let me make breakfast. And so, I just got this one, and this is actually pretty good. I mainly get the blueberry ones because that's the one the kids love. 
I also like the buttermilk ones, but everyone will eat this. So got that, and then let's see. Good thing I got some more eggs, because that will not be enough. And then bacon, China, I mean, not bacon, <laughs> sausages. China's at work, so um, I'm only making breakfast for the three of us. I'm just letting the pan heat up, and I think you guys can hear the fan. I have it on and started already. So I make really thick pancakes, you guys. My kids call my pancakes pound cakes, because you pretty much only need one. I learned how to make pancakes from my grandmother, and that's the only way I know how to make it. No, I make the batter just fine, but I don't know, for some reason my pancakes come out so thick. But my kids love it, so they call them pound cakes. You just need one. So I just wanted to show you guys how thick one of my pancakes are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty thick. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I know I can measure it out and get the correct um, way of doing it, but I've been doing it like this for years. My kids like it, so oh well. So if you ever come to my house and you eat my pancakes, know what you're in for. If you ask for two, you're probably asking for four, because all you need is one. <laughs> all right, you guys, breakfast is done. As you can see, all you need is one pancake, and I have my sausages and eggs, and I'm gonna use this syrup. It's light, so it still should be sweet, but I think we just grabbed the wrong one. And I'm being fancy today, you guys. I'm having orange juice in my juice glass. Is it a goblet? I think it's called a goblet. So yeah, breakfast is done and Savannah's up and she's about to eat as well. All right, you guys, I am home. My hair is done. I just put it up for now. Um, Cause you guys know when I first get it done, it's kind of poofy. I have not put all of the mousse in it to calm it down. It's been a long day. It's like 10 o'clock at night. If I, I don't even want to discuss what happened today. I, the person who was supposed to come do my hair, she bailed on me, so I had to go, not crawling back, but use the person who I fired. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to go eat because I have not eaten since breakfast. I'm starving. I'm cranky, and I'm mad. I'm hot. I'm going to put this hair back up, and maybe I'll check back in later. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, and yeah, I know. I look crazy. Um, I should have actually tamed this hair last night. I was so tired and exhausted. I had a long day. That's why I didn't vlog a lot yesterday. I'm blaming on that, really. But no, I really planned on vlogging more yesterday. But anyway, so remember how I told you guys a co-worker was going to come to my house and do my hair? Because she's a hairdresser as well. So, I made breakfast for the family. And I'm sitting down eating. I guess I could do my hair while I'm talking. So, I'm sitting down eating breakfast. And I get a text and I don't know, I just had a weird feeling before I even looked at the text. And then, yes, it was her. She told me, oh, I had an emergency come up and I won't be able to make it today. I am so, so sorry. That could be true. There could be an emergency. Things come up. Something could have happened. It could have been a coincidence that it just happened on the day that she was supposed to do my hair and whatever. So... I kind of like believe that something did happen. I'll give her a chance. I mean, she doesn't have to tell me if it's personal, of course, you know, she, she doesn't have to tell me what's going on. But I kind of believe it because there was a day that I walked in and usually she's the one that I told you guys, the minute I come in, she starts talking and going on and on about, I don't know what the kids did, meaning the kids, meaning the students. Um, what they did and what she got to do and stuff like that and that's the one I told you that I'm nice to but it's sometimes it's like girl be quiet so we can get to work her so there was a day that I came in and she wasn't like that at all she was like totally quiet and I heard her kept <coughs> I heard her kept snipping and then I tried to ask her like are you okay is everything okay and she says something and I said what and she repeated it and I still didn't hear but I felt bad to ask her to repeat it again so I just said oh that's that's too bad or something like that and she said yeah I have no clue I really have no clue what she said and she was she was crying and so you could tell she didn't want to talk about it so I didn't pursue it so maybe it has something to do with whatever she was upset about this week so I will give her another chance um, when this hair comes down because I'll tell you when I get to this I'll tell you guys about how I'm not happy with this 
anyway you guys know that i always find something but i'll tell you why in a minute so anyway i'm thinking i didn't have to get my hair done i could have just flat ironed it and kept wearing the ponytails until probably next weekend or something like that she offered to come over on tuesday after work and do my hair but this was the text that she sent me later and i was already having my hair done i told her i said you know what um it's okay i understand i know you're reliable i don't know that for sure but she was like she's reliable to work she doesn't miss so i'm getting my hair done already right now i was honest with her because she's going to see me on monday it's okay um i hope everything's okay with you and you know at least she apologized and whatever i'm calling around to try to get these my hair done right and i'm calling around to shops and y'all with black hair it's so expensive and sometimes to find someone who does a good job and is not expensive is rare that's the reason why i keep going back to this person who i want to fire you know so one shop wanted 200 dollars one other shop wanted 150 one wanted 125 and i'm like you know what i will pay 85 dollars that's the most i will pay because when i get my hair done okay honestly this was $75 to get it done. This is the girl who I always go to. And the most I would pay is $85. And yes, now I go to her house to get it done. But even in the shop, a lot of places can charge $85 or $75 or something like that. These braids are not hard to do at all. And yes, they're braids because my hair, I told you guys many times before, underneath is cornrowed. So these it's not hard to do that i went back to her style has gone down so much her the way she does things and okay it looks okay but okay so this hair is synthetic right and sometimes they have to dye it to put different shades in it or whatever so if you get like this kind is a 1b and it's like not jet black but not lighter if that makes any sense so my shade is 1b and sometimes you'll find like blonde strands in it or red strands because i know they have to dye the hair to get it to the right color well this has red strands in it she should have taken it out and she didn't i don't know if you guys are able to see there's like little red strands in my hair and she knows i don't like that see oh my gosh that's like really noticeable and I don't dye my hair or anything like that. So this to me is unacceptable. I don't like that. She should have taken it out. And plus, I don't like the way that you're able to see the braid like really, really visibly. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Should have put more hair there to where it's not as obvious. So, yeah. Y'all... I know I could have waited. I know. And it's time to retire the ponytail. Oh yeah, that's the ponytail that I wear to work. <laughs> and I don't let you guys see me taking off my head. All right, I'm just gonna have to share space with another one. See if I can cram it in. So anyway, you guys, now I regret not waiting on my coworker. But when you get in the mind frame that you're getting your hair done, and then you're sitting there looking like a pickaninny, <laughs> flats all over the place, looking like, I don't know. So I, I was just determined to get my hair done and I wasn't gonna pay outrageous prices. I actually got lucky to have my hairdresser. I keep calling her my hairdresser, even though I say I'm gonna fire her every time she does my hair. The only reason why I got in with her so soon, because I usually have to call one or two weeks in advance, maybe three, sometimes even a month because she only braids hair now on weekends because she has a regular job throughout the week. And what else am I saying? <sighs> oh, someone actually canceled and called me back. And she's like, hey, if you want to come at 545, I can do your hair because someone canceled. And I'm like, yeah, I'll be right. I'll be there. So that's the only reason why I actually got my hair done yesterday. If it wasn't for that, I would have just been wearing the stinking ponytails again. Okay, what am I doing? trying to tame this mess so yeah so that was my day yesterday that's why I was so frustrated and upset and just like uh, when I came home Whew. 
Okay. Let me get this thing. My kids always wonder why. You get your hair done, Mom, and you always wear it up. Because I don't like it in my face. I just don't. It's just me. But I like a little curls or something like that. Let me see if I can get this to curl. So when I came home, we pretty much ate. And I need to show you guys what we bought. We bought some ramen from Koshi, Koshi, something like that. And, some, and when I say we, meaning me and Savannah, the other two weren't home, so they just had leftovers. But they just ate wherever they were. And I went to bed after that. And then at 5 this morning, I know I'm rambling on and on. The thing says 10 minutes. I've been talking for 10 minutes, y'all. Um, at 5 in the morning, um, Boston slept in his crate last night. Savannah just didn't want him in, in her room. And I hear him whining. And I hear the crate making noises because he'll tap on it when he wants to get out. And he'll always tap on it. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe he just wants to get out thinking whatever. And I'm like, oh, he probably has to go to the bathroom. And after him doing that for like 20 minutes, I'm like, no, he probably seriously has to go to the bathroom. I better let him out before he has an accident. So when he really has to go, he will come out that crate quick. So I turned the alarm off and I said, all right, if you're going to go out, it was five. It was dark. I was tired. I'm like, if you're going to go out, you're going to stay out until we wake up. So he bolted out of the crate. So I'm like, okay, no, he really had to go. But he bolted out the crate and went out to use the restroom. The restroom. <laughs> I guess it is the restroom for dogs. The outside is their restroom. Oh, and then when I went to bring him in, when I woke up, he's so much like Leo, you guys. Our dog Leo, this dog has the spirit of Leo. That's what I say. Because Leo, when we would leave him out all day, like we were gone, gone all day long, we would leave him out through the water. I knew that we weren't going to be back in eight hours to have him go to the restroom, but so we leave him in the backyard, we come home and let him in, Leo would run around the yard barking, looking at us like, no, uh-uh, no, I'm mad at y'all. And <laughs> he would not want to come in. Tell me why Boston did the same thing. And it's like, wow, this dog reminds me so much of Leo. So yeah, he's outside because he's mad at me because I didn't let him in when he got done using the bathroom. <laughs> Guess I can turn the water off. All right, you guys, let me finish getting ready for church. I'm only halfway ready. Red I'm only halfway ready. <laughs> yeah, so let me do that and then I'll check back in later. Get out of my closet! All three of my kids are in my closet fighting over what they think they're gonna get when I die. And Tyreek, what? Are, why are you in there? I do have a couple of men like jerseys that are nice. Can I get your violin? You played not one time. You 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 want my um scrubs? You can get my scrubs when I die. I do have a violin. I think our first don't even play it. I know. I think our first blog was um about the violin. You want those? You know, I bought those for work and I didn't have to. Those are ugly. Okay, so would you put those up? I'm looking for this one and of course I find her messing with stuff, making noise and a ruckus like she always does. Oh my gosh, Savannah. Hey you guys, ooh, hair is looking a little wild. Anyway, I kind of did a thing. So you guys know how I say I have an ash thumb because I even kill cactuses and succulents. Well, I'm trying my hand again on plants. This time inside plants that don't require a lot of sun because these plants, I went to Home Depot after church and I talked to somebody and they said all the plants that they had in there and hanging plants and flowers, those are the ones that are always kept inside they don't even need direct sunlight. And he told me to water them once a week. So I am trying, I'm gonna try because this looks really good here. I will show you guys. And first I gotta, I gotta trim it. So let me do that. See, it's that right there. And it's technically supposed to be a hanging plant. What if I can take these things off? Ooh, I can. I'm not going to hang it. Is he 
eating your cereal back in cereal? No. Oh. Just put them in the crate for now until she's done. Okay. I think that looks pretty. If I can keep it alive. If. Yeah. Can you throw this away? Yeah, milk and butter. Yeah. Milk and butter and season it. I don't know, just a little milk and some butter. Okay. You, you that looks good. Milk? Yes. Seasoning. No, salt. Salt is a seasoning. Okay. Yes, Tari. You can put that. Whatever is whatever you want. But I need salt and pepper. Okay, I am going to buy a white container that way um, that's covered because of course it has the holes at the bottom. And also you guys, they said this is inside as well. It's, um, hold on. Sorry, butter? No, I used the spray up there. It's an elephant bush. Um, something, Caria a Ferrari. <laughs> I did not say that right, I know. So, whatever that is, this is what it is here. And I'm going to put this at the bottom. And then you scramble it, and you like mix it up with the... Tarry. Okay, look at that. I think it looks good. If I can keep that alive, and then I put the other one at the bottom. I don't know how big it's going to get, but... Yeah, these were not very expensive at all, thank goodness, because I do not want to pay for something and then have it die in a month. But this was, I think, $10. And that right there, I think, was maybe 5 or 6 So, we will see, you guys. Yeah, we will see. So, I'm just sitting here, and I have some wings in the oven. And I'm watching In the Tall Grass, or The Tall Grass, or something like that on Netflix. I'm not. I swear I'm not. It doesn't look, it looked interesting, but I don't know, I'm losing interest. So have you guys seen that? What do you guys think? Put some wings in the oven. I'm sorry. I guess it is getting interesting. Let me pause this. Okay, anyway, I put some wings in the oven and that's what we're gonna have for lunch slash dinner for now, I guess. And I'm gonna go back out in like an hour because I wanna get some, did I tell you guys? I don't know if I told you guys this. I wanna get some fall decorations. Now, I've never been the type of person to decorate for the season, but for some reason, I've been seeing people on Instagram and on YouTube, certain vloggers that I watch that have decorated their house for fall. And I wanna do it. So I'm actually gonna go the cheap route because I don't know if this is something that I wanna continuously do. So I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and see what I can find as far as fall decorations. So that's what I'm going to do. And the reason why we didn't do it right after church is because Dollar Trees that we have in our area, they don't have a whole lot. So I'm actually gonna go a little bit further, see if I can find some stuff at another Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna do that shortly. So we're in Dollar Tree and look at the ceiling. It's like kids threw those little sticky things up there. It's all over. How? But you, you're not gonna do it. Like there's none over here. I know, that's so weird. And it's over there too, Savannah, look. Like a couple dials down, there are some over there. There's some right there. <laughs> All right, so I'm back home. Um, went to Walmart again, surprise, surprise. I got a few decorations for fall. I got some things for the kitchen and um, let me get everything together and then I will show you guys what I got. Maybe not everything, cause some things are like dish soap or stuff like that. Which, oh, so you guys, I am going to try out, I've always heard Mrs. Myers, this R, this R, I always heard this is a really good cleaning product. So I got this, which is multi-surface um, everyday cleaner. So you can use it on everything, countertops, tubs, toilets, stuff like that. And I also got Mrs. Meyer's dish soap. So I'm going to try this out and I should have got, there was something else I wanted to get, um, like Method. And I think it was right there and it slipped my mind. I think it's a hand soap or something like that. So I'm going to try that. Not at the second, but next time we do dishes, I'm going to try it and whatever. I know my hair is looking crazy. So yeah so my plant in here that i showed you guys earlier i told my friend tracy about it you guys have seen my friend tracy before anyway she is a plant grower she has a green thumb plants thrive in her presence she 
has a bunch of like tall plants and she keeps them beautiful and keeps them good all year long and she talks to her plant and I'm like, I can't do that. And so she gives all of her plants names or all of her plants have basketball names because her plants or her house plants are like huge and tall. She has outside ones. She has timers to where certain days she goes and water certain ones or whatever. That's how much she's in love with it. And her house is gorgeous. Anyway, so I showed her what I got and I said, I tried talking to her, but I don't know. I felt kind of silly. She said, just say good morning and good night. And she said, it looks like a Heather. So Heather it is. My fern name is Heather. And then that succulent down there, if that's a succulent, whatever it is, we'll call him Fred. So Heather and Fred. Okay. So you guys, I put Heather and you guys are going to think I'm crazy because I feel crazy saying it. I put Heather <laughs> in this container. I found this from Walmart. This was eight bucks. And Fred down here, he's just in the bowl right there until I find something that's pretty enough to um, support that. I may not even leave that there because I really don't think, I mean, I know the people in Home Goods, no, not Home Goods, in Home Depot said that they don't need sun, but to me, I mean, I have a window there, but I don't think it's going to thrive. So actually, before I buy something for that, like really pretty. I'm gonna wait and see how they survive. And, okay, the soil is still moist because when I bought it today, the guy helped me check it. I guess the store had watered it already. And so I put like rocks in here to raise this up. Let me show you guys. Cause I don't do anything with them and those are the decorative rocks, but I just bought it and put it in there like that cute huh we'll see how long it survives cuz I don't know y'all y'all know me I'm already worried see pieces falling off it gets in my hands and plants just die huh Heather god I feel retarded okay this is my lazy Dollar Tree haul um <laughs> this is what I got to decorate with and no I do not eat these these are for Savannah so I'm gonna put these to the side so this is just a few of the things that I got at Dollar Tree. Nothing too fancy just to decorate the living room and maybe my dining room. No, the nook area with. I don't even know why I got these, but these will match the living room. So I'm going to see how I can place things, but I'm probably not going to be done as far as fall decorations because I just look like I need more. And look at these, you guys. Aren't these the cutest? These are squirrels, but look, they're salt and pepper shakers. I'm not going to use them for shalt, shalt, for salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to use them for decorations with the fall stuff. So isn't it cute? I need more though. So everything is bright and festive, but I kind of don't like it. I mean, it is from Dollar Tree, so I knew what to expect. Oh, that's not from Dollar Tree. I got that from Walmart and I think that was $10. So I do think the centerpiece is cute. Okay, well... This is my first time trying out like fall decorations and I put the other two pumpkins over there and that little sign that says gather right there. So what do you guys think? How should I rearrange this? Let me know because I don't like this. It is 1130 you guys. I look like a banshee, a wild banshee, don't I? Anyway, I'm just going to braid my hair up and go to bed. It's 11.30, did I say that? Yep, it's 11.30. And I should be in bed. Because 6.30 in the morning comes pretty quick. Especially when you're not a morning person. And you don't like to get up. I mean, I'm thankful, thankful to God I get up in the mornings, but y'all know. So I just edited a video. I'm actually uploading it to YouTube right now. Hopefully, before I go to bed, it'll be uploaded. Or maybe I'll just let it do its thing and then have it upload automatically. I don't know if I told you guys. If I did tell you guys this and you're hearing it again, sorry. But remember um, that one morning when I was on my way to work and I was getting a bunch of text messages about my pastor. He had had a mini stroke. Well... He's doing a whole lot better. He actually was in the hospital for like a week and a half. And he didn't have any, what do you call that? 
You know, when you have a stroke, one side of your face is paralyzed or doesn't do that. I don't know. Anyway, he was a whole lot better. And he said, the doctors, look at this. This should not be like this. Why did she cut this like this? This is the reason why. Oh, my gosh. I keep complaining and I complain and I complain. But then yet I go back to her. It's only because I really wanted my hair done this weekend because I was tired of wearing that stinking ponytail. Whew. Sigh. Anyway, what was I saying? So my pastor, he was in the hospital for a week and a half. And the doctors actually told him that he looks better than what they, than what his body is showing. Because I guess his body is not really all that healthy, but God's keeping him. So, yeah, so he's doing a lot better. He was actually back at church last Sunday. I don't know if I told you guys that or not. And he preached. I didn't think he was going to preach. I, I knew he was out of the hospital and then he was going to be at church. But I thought he was actually going to have one of the deacons preach. I'm going to brush my teeth and go to bed. Do you guys brush morning and night? You should. Maybe that's the dental assistant coming out of me. But I know a lot of people who only brush in the morning and not at night. Alright you guys. So I am going to go to bed. I'm just going to let the video do its thing, upload, and it'll be ready by the morning or whatever. I don't know. I'm tired. 6.30 is going to come pretty fast. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.